Why you up? Because I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the well class. teacher is misinformed right and they teaching you how are yeah. you supposed to be taught anything that is of value if they themselves are misinformed so it could be so you saying that's the level you're talking about but couldn't it be intentional on the level above her or him yes no definitely uh, see the higher higher ups you don't see their face we don't see they we don't see the ones pulling the strings that's what I was saying earlier about having to have that type of talk about who is the they, who is the us, who is the we. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody's participating. You don't want to You're not going to learn how to be a millionaire from a, a teacher who makes 30K. You know when when we talk about a millionaire, millionaires, she wouldn't be a teacher. And, and that's what I'm saying. When we talk about millionaires and we talk about teachers, it's really fucked up to even mention millionaires because teachers should be millionaires. No, they shouldn't. No, no, they shouldn't. shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the teachers, you have to make thirty thousand before you make a million. How to open Issa. your mind enough that you should be, you shouldn't feel like you. Can your teacher, come your teacher, listen. But your teacher, your teacher, teacher be a should be a millionaire. Why? Your teacher should be teaching you how to be successful, and they should themselves be successful as you want to be. Otherwise, mm, like I then, said. How are you supposed to know anything if you yourself are being taught by a brokey? You, you sound like they be, right now. Okay, so okay, look, okay, hold if you're a teacher, I, Dusty, gotta, what I do you disagree. think you're going to be? What is, hold on. What, 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 you sound that, like Esau. Esau, you sound like they right now. They, they are the I ones like that who? want you to feel that way. <laughs> you sound like they? I don't know who that is. Listen, I'm sounding me. like me. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen in and listen in and understand what I'm saying. If your teacher is, a, say for instance, in debt, can they teach you how to be a millionaire? Yeah. Would you want to be in debt? Do you want to be in? Do you want your child to be? You wanted your child to go to school to learn how to be in debt. Esau, uh, who, who I'm asking. Esau, who's coaching you in the NBA, NFL? Are they the yes fastest, no. strongest players? I'm asking. No, well, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sam. Like, everybody ask this uh, question. Start with Zo. Okay. Just get. Just, just get. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Zo. Hold on, Zoe. Just get a yes or no. We just go. We will all go around real quick, and then you come right back to you, and you can uh, you can uh, elaborate. So, to his, his answer to his question, Zoe. I'm I'm I'm, the, I'm not trying to clarify the question. The question is, can your teacher who in debt, who's in debt, teach you to become a millionaire? Yeah. The answer is no. Scam. They but they can't. Okay, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah we'll yes. come right back to you. Yes. Uh, myself. Uh, no. Reaper. Uh, yeah, they can. Dub will. Uh, yes. Okay. So what is it? Three yeses, two no's. Eso, to your own question. Somebody said they're good debt. Uh, I, I'm going to say no. Okay. So three, three, and three. All right, though. Go ahead. They, all right. I say no because they the, the their objective is not to teach you to become a millionaire. What they're supposed to do is keep you is not close your mind to the possible to, to your they're not supposed to to inhibit you from being from um from learning how to do it on your own. They're not supposed to keep you from learning how to do it, but they're but they're not the they're not gonna be the reason that you become a millionaire. They're gonna be the reason that your mind is open enough for you to be able to find your own path. Now that is what's being discouraged, is, is what my point is. Is that they're not even they're like teachers are getting their hands tied to not even be able to do that. Teachers are not even being allowed to t teach you to, to critically think. That's where critical thinking comes into play, because if they because if they were supposed to be a millionaire or if they were a millionaire, then they wouldn't be teaching you, because what the, the like millionaire doesn't really mean millionaire. Millionaire means upper class or higher class. You there's there's teachers across um there's teachers across an entire spectrum. There, there are higher class teachers and then there are lower class teachers. In the public school system, those teachers aren't really geared to make millionaires. 
Yes. If you go so, to Harvard, then you, and you're talking and you're talking a different game. If you go to Yale, you're talking a different game. And I'm not sure the Dolphins are even millionaires either, but that's just a higher grade. But the majority of teachers are not going to train you to become a millionaire. All right, Scam. Um, unfortunately, I can say I've seen it happen in network marketing, where the one with more knowledge and experience taught somebody, people under them, and they hit the million, the million dollar net worth mark before they did. But information is the same, no matter where it comes from. Delivery may change and other stuff, but the best coaches in sports aren't the fastest players. They're 70, 60, 70 years old, ugly, with funny looking suits on. So they can point. teach you how to win championships. If they play it at all. Some yeah. Information is information. All right. Uh Reaper. Yeah, scam kind of took some of my thought. I was just gonna say, just because you aren't a millionaire doesn't mean you can't teach someone how to get there, right? And if you look at the of any millionaire stars, top athletes, it's not necessarily just what they understand or learn, it's the tenacity to try to get there, right? So when you talk about say a teacher. A teacher, you know, teaching some, you know, an Elon Musk or whatever, or, you know, Steve Jobs, right? Uh, whatever, whoever you want to use, right? And, and take out all of them, you know, still in technology or that shit. But just keep it, keep in mind the personality, the personalities of those millionaires, they're literally, they're literal cycles, right? They stay up all night or back then before, you know, their, their plans took off. They were, you know, programming, coding, researching. They were doing things at, say, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., that most people, are going to do like i said that teacher that taught him his or her utility may have just been look i could be a millionaire i just don't have it i don't have it in me right but i know everything i know how to code this i know how to you know create this formulation but i just it's just not in me right but elon mm-hmm. musk has that tenacity right steve jobs or whoever you want to use right your biggest millionaires billionaires they have that tenacity so i do think that yes someone that who is not a millionaire or rich can teach you or give you some of the tools that you need to get there. You know, it's just, you know, a personality difference, a profile difference in, you know, what makes you a millionaire billionaire versus what doesn't. I like y'all points, um, actually, to be honest with you. Dub. Uh, to, to clarify, the question was, can a teacher who's in debt teach a student to be a millionaire? That's correct. Mm-hmm. And you said no. Uh, right? I said yes. Oh, you said yes, okay. No, yeah. Sorry. Um. Well, if I'm just taking the, the, the question literally, and somebody else already touched on this, there's different levels of teacher. Every teacher is in a teacher in a public school making $35,000 a year. And technically, you tell me if I'm wrong, you can technically be in debt and still be a millionaire, right? Mm. Yeah. So that that's just the literal on the face of the question. But also it goes to, and like a lot of my, a lot of my points got, got taken already, like it's just about passing on information. You might not be an actual millionaire, but you can have study material from someone who is a millionaire or a billionaire and pass that on to somebody else so that's what that's that's my thought well the, the, uh no, wait, so. you go oh. hold up he's a, he's a right over here. Futures make more question. than 30 a year nah, honestly like 50. <laughs> okay 50 I mean, years if, look if if we want to uh play that game and say oh yeah if you if if you do exactly what uh, the opposite of what the teacher says, yeah, of course you come on, like let's be honest. Come on, man. Seriously. The the, the people who, who the people who say yes, if you listen to, to the reasons behind why they say yes, you realize it's one of those, oh, hypothetically, maybe no, you honestly, you just being a dissenter. You know damn well. For real. Like if you in debt, right? Okay, if you if you teaching me what you didn't do okay i can listen to you but otherwise no joe jackson like what are we talking about like, y'all ain't gotta be being funny Tiger y'all are just going against just bill, to go against bill belichick I mean, scam, scam has examples but like and 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 i'm not and i'm not arguing that i do think he made some good points earlier the point i was going to make was 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 the was i have a quantity based argument for my no and Scam has a quality-based argument for his yes. Yeah. So yeah. when he goes, his Joe Jackson target, he's talking about the very, very quality. few of people that, that did it when the majority of teachers who are in debt are not going to teach kids to become millionaires, and that's not what they're designed to do in today's society yeah. or in a society that I grew up in, in the culture I grew up in from the 80s, My, 90s, my point 90s is, up. 
So don't we you, want well, teachers who are millionaires? Don't no, don't we want no, teachers we who can no. teach no, the, the youth to be better? Uh, that's, that's the, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, saying so. no to your question, which you would not disagree right. with that, that point you're making, SO. That that would be diametrically opposed to what the school system is there for. It's not teaching yes. that's that's the, it's not designed to do that. It's designed to make you a worker, it's not designed that's, to teach you to be a millionaire. I mean, no, not just that's that, but it's unrealistic. That's specifically why I said, well, hold on, let me say mine real quick, right? That's specifically why I said, no, I have to I echo Zoe's point. It doesn't exist for that point. And again, even though, you know, Iso, you said the same thing. You said, you know, we agreed in the same way. No, I don't want a teacher. I don't want a millionaire to be a teacher. No, I don't. I want a millionaire to be out in society, keeping this economy afloat. You know what I'm saying? Doing something more important. And <clears throat> my, my bigger point as to why a teacher really shouldn't be a millionaire and should be paid a millionaire a million dollars is because I think we, more, more than most of us should be homeschooled by our own parents or our own family anyway. You then you, point. then you, then you have a easy opportunity, if uh, a easier opportunity or potential opportunity, because most teachers are not going to get paid a million dollars uh, for somebody in the house that is a millionaire to teach them. If we start taking responsibility for their education, especially their mathematics. Go ahead. Yeah. You, so you, let, you, so let me ask. Well, let me ask this real quick. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Eason. Then you double. Right. Okay, if <laughs> if you have a volunteer teacher, right? Do you think that should be that that would make the the quality of teachers go up or down? No, because they're a volunteer. It, it, it would go. No, down. I'm saying it, they all volunteers. No, we're and, not. Paying and that just depends on the all. volunteer. If Bill Gates volunteered to be a teacher, then he's yes, just got I resources do. that matter right. to, on a certain so, level. Okay, so if Joe. Smoke goes. Yeah, I'm just saying hypothetically. Teacher. All those hypotheticals. If the, right? if the critical thinking crackhead becomes a teacher, I still don't want him to be my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying the crackhead. If they want to volunteer, they can do it, right? No. Nah. Are you saying it based on a criteria or? I'm saying you when saying... you make it a volunteer thing, then it, it it what you're doing breaks it down more to the essence of teaching to say that it matters what this person has to offer. But then we have to actually qualify that person on what they have to offer. That's why I said I don't want the crackhead. I'm, I'm sure there, there might be a great critically thinking crackhead teacher somewhere. It's just <laughs> like I'm just not going to use them for this example, and it's not going to be my critically thinking crackhead. He's so efficient, like bro. even oh, like um like in Fresh Fresh's dad in the in the movie Samuel L. Jackson was an alcoholic, and he was and he was he was not living his best life, but he was still trying to teach his son valuable lessons through chess and through like. Uh, and through a level of mentorship over his son, even though he wasn't able to be in his son's life the way that maybe he wanted to. He was he was literally depicted as a failure in life, but the one good thing about him was that he knew how to play chess. This is one of my favorite movies. He knew how to play chess, and he taught his son to play chess as well. He taught his, taught his son how to live his life in those lessons of chess. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? I know damn well you ain't been watching it this long and ain't hit that like button. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Going right for the jugular, aren't you? And hit the like button for me, buy something. What's going on? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Hit that little red button and consider becoming a member. Why not? Why haven't you heard what they say about me? I'm a degenerate fucking animal. Everything not gonna end up on the channel, man. We're gonna put stuff in the back, you know, for the people that support the channel. I mean, it's okay, you know. Some people want to be freeloaders. I used to did it. Cash app, IG, link, it will be in the description. Also, the email, if you find something you want me to react to, man, hit me up in the email. Um, now, let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. So, that in that way, yes, because he's allowing him to critically think and he's teaching him how to teach himself through the game. So, when he, so and for example, he, teaches, he, he tells his son, like, hey, there's a game that I play versus myself. And once his son saw that, his son started doing that, Fred started doing that himself playing against himself so that was a that was a representation of teaching your son to teach himself how to play by 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 wrestling with yourself to understand how you can become better and that's what's missing in society today is there's no father figures a and there's no nothing in the education system to say hey this is how you teach yourself this is how you go on your adventure in life so that when things come across your way that's going to bring you down that you can pick yourself back up because no one's going to do it for you 
now everyone has an entitlement issue. Now everyone has these issues with themselves where they're um or they can always <laughs> point a finger. They have so these lack of accountability. They you. have these emotional issues. They have these mental wellness issues. And it's like everybody's able to focus on all these problems, but no one has an agenda to fix them for something greater than the problem. See, so I, can't, nah, brag on the, your the problem as much as you can. Brag the, on you can't say the problem is that the problems are being spotlighted because no, no, of I'm not saying that's the technology. Main problem. A that's lot a of stuff of is being brought, being brought to the forefront. The, and what happens is just because it's being spotlighted does not mean, oh, we got more problems. No, it's just more ways of us realizing, okay, what's going on? And we need to understand how to solve it. Otherwise, we're just going to be like, oh, yeah, that's just the new generation. You know There's what I mean? Like, you just shrug it so off. Putting a spotlight on problems that you're not going to solve or that you can't solve right away or that you can't, you, that you don't have the critical thinking to be able to solve, most importantly, is exactly what's wrong with us. With it, with a, as a culture, not not us individually, but us as a culture, putting the spotlight on the problem and sensationalizing it, but not actively having the critical thinking pathway pathway to fixing it, is just an emotional response to it. And but a, a lot of the issues of it. are more that nuanced is than just oh, just think about it and you'll solve it. No, like okay, like <laughs> the reason we got our whole constitution is based on people thinking critically. Like all right. What are we going to need in the future? And if you're trying to go against that and you realize, all right, uh, I don't want people who are mentally ill to have these same issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to have a certain criteria. That's what I'm saying. If, if you, if, even in teaching, like, if you, if we're going to have a, a teacher, have they rights, need to have a certain criteria. It shouldn't be, culture. oh, yeah, just because on, you volunteered on, off the street. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, come on. We we take whoever. Whoever wants to teach. No. If this you know what I'm saying? Gets like to a and I'm saying where a millionaire this... teacher, a person who if that was the criteria that you have to have a million dollars, we would have some of the best teachers ever. What do y'all talk about? And y'all are saying y'all are, are loony if you saying otherwise. That would depend to a point wait, wait. where the constitutional rights have, are, have to be looked at and be like, I don't think there's people in this country that should have these rights. That's a problem with the culture, not the Constitution. The Constitution itself is, is unal unalienable rights for citizens of the country. The, the, the country's responsibility is to maintain a culture and a society that can be responsible to those rights. People who can be responsible to their freedom of speech, to their Second Amendment rights, to their right to remain silent, to their right to freedom, to the right to live responsible to the being the keyword. That's what. That's where the the country itself has to have a culture around it. That's that um that can rate that can create citizens that are worthy of those rights because those rights are unalienable. You can't. You have to have those rights. That's where the separation of church and state came in because it's like let's make sure that the church is a place where people, it, whatever way you worship that is a church is a place where the state can't get involved because that's where we're going to have the social um, understanding, a social norm can, can be created at church. Everybody goes to church on Sunday. Everybody does something really, everybody, we can all hold each other accountable outside of what the government has to say to us. That's what, that's all what right. the separation of church and state was about. And even that's been growing over the past, over, during my lifetime, we've seen the, we've seen the fall of the church or the capitalization right. of the church where people are taking advantage of it in a way that, People are making money. There's a bunch of mega churches, but there's still a whole bunch of homeless people. Like that's where you start seeing issues like this. Like these start start to arise when when once the church becomes politicized and become a part of the um the government structure. All right, let me but, get but, uh but, double well, let me get double well in unless somebody got pushed back for what's over just saying. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I got pushed back for Esso, but go ahead. Esso said something about if um. If all the teachers had a million, had a million dollars that, or or had a million dollar net worth, they would be uh, that'd be the best teacher ever. That would depend on how they got the million dollars. You know, I I can kind of see your point. They went out and earned it for themselves, but if they got inherited a million dollars, that doesn't mean anything. They could be a plum idiot. That's one. But we have to also go back to, like I said, what I said earlier, why the school system was created. Why I mean, th th you're going against the system by putting this putting teachers in there. The this is not. This don't knock on teachers, right? I mean, but the role they have today, they basically function as professional babysitters. If that was the case, you wouldn't have, you know, kids graduating high school that can, can't even read on a middle school level. You got boys graduating high school reading at third, fourth grade level. Yeah. They're just they're just there to. You think that's the teachers' fault or that's the parents?
Well, that kind of goes back to what World Class is saying. I was gonna, I was gonna bring that point up. <clears throat> I don't really see the point of ha- of, of the public school system today. Like, what is it? What is it accomplishing? So, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. If it's reinforcing something that you're doing at home, then that's definitely something that is beneficial. But if you're saying that the teachers are solely responsible, I, I'm gonna have to disagree. Well, we'll say that last part again. You broke up a little bit. I say if if t- if you saying teachers are solely responsible, I have to. Disagree. I, ne- I never said teachers were solely responsible. I said they saying, were okay. The the whole. I said the, the, the I said the I said the way I said they function basically today as just professional babysitters. Right, I I'm, I get that, and that's what I'm I didn't saying. say they were. I didn't say they were solely crazy. responsible, but like, if yeah. they not t- teaching your child right, and it's other children who are learning, you you don't think it's something with your child, or are you saying? It's that teacher not getting to that child and only to those other ones who are able to learn. There's something wrong with the school system. Nah, nah, something wrong with the school system, I can guarantee. But I'm not saying that it's the teachers. I'm not saying that it's the criteria or the I'm, what curriculum. What I'm saying is at some I'm point saying, you I'm have, saying. at home have to teach something or or all of that is for not. I'm, right, I, I'm saying I'm saying that the way it's structured today, I mean, whether you have the best teacher in the world, right? And we're talking about public school. That's where the vast majority of kids go to school at, right? It, the way it's structured today, even the best teacher can only do so much. And we know that all teachers aren't great teachers. Mm-hmm. There's some teachers who like like any other job that's there for the paycheck or just there to have summers off, right? Right. So, and, and so, but like you said, you're kind of making that point too. Is like, well, if, if it starts at home, then why do I, what, then why send them there? Especially if they're just not, if they're going to get indoctrinated, if they get educated in anything, what is the point? No, because world class is talking about homeschooling. Like, I, I, would agree, I would agree if a lot of these parents weren't te- taught by the same effed up school system. But 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 talking about homeschooling as it relates to that topic of, of them being taught by a millionaire, you can have one in your own house. You know what I'm saying? Or collectively, you know, you can have a few people that have a network of, of a million, and that's a few people you're learning from. Um, but now you're getting into a realm of possibilities. <laughs> getting into the, you know the school system itself, it's kind of kind of getting away from the point. But yeah, I got a slight pushback. About- when you talking about homeschool, you talking about kids learning. Go ahead, Tan. Oh, that's you, Tan. Oh, you you really low, t- uh, Tan. You really really low. Go go ahead, Tan. Uh, can you who? hear me, Tan? Yeah, we can hear you. It's really low. Yeah, he at the bottom right there, seven eight. Okay. Oh, now I see him. When you talking about homeschool, are you talking about just kids at home uh, doing schoolwork? Because during COVID, we motherfuckers were acting dumb. Test scores were horrendous. By the time they came back to school. Yeah, because because people had to be parents. People had to be. What parents were they the doing? That, like, that's what I'm saying. What were they doing in them in them homes? They wasn't teaching their children anything at all. Yelling from upstairs. You on that? Um, you on that tablet? TV. You on that laptop? Hey. They Put them in front of parents. the screen. They don't know how to be teacher parents. Hey, just get out of my way. Just get out of my right. face. Uh, yeah, I can't so, wait until this shit is over so you can go back to school. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so my pushback is just, come on, let's, let's get to reality. Teachers, all teachers are supposed to, they should make a million dollars and all, come on, man. This ain't vendor <laughs> machines. Hey, man, you know what? Everybody should be in shape and be 6'4", too. Come on. Really, bro? All right, but you, you get, get my you point. You pay for. You get my point, though. Right. You get what you pay for. You just pay what I do. You I'm saying, just all, parents point. Should be, all parents should be married, productive, and have all their teeth in their mouth, too. No. Ideally. You get, you get, yes, ideally. But in, in, I don't know. All right, number, so if we that, talk, that's what I'm saying. We talk about an ideal world right now, Scam. That, that can't be pushback. That ain't even pushback. Who's going to troll in an ideal world? <laughs> you making my really? point, you, you. But in, a, but in an ideal world, who's, I mean, I don't agree. Even in an ideal world, teachers shouldn't 
make a million dollars or be me like some people like, so dumb they can't learn in heaven after they die come on <laughs> ideal world some these people up there failing and even you know, what is what is the barrier? What is the barrier of entry? If we wait, 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 if, listen, if they grow up understanding certain things and realizing certain things from uh, from infancy, we can't. It, it's it's not that nature versus nurture. We will we will wipe the board with that shit. It'll be no straight nature and nurture. They ain't, ain't no verses. Then you know reality. Saying? What is the barrier of entry to becoming a teacher? Like what? I mean, you you have to have uh, exactly. You gotta have a high school diploma. You know what I'm saying? Weren't you a teacher, Issa? So that's yeah, my that's point. It. That's what I'm saying. That's not. But I I know. Yeah, certain, I taught for a year. You were a teacher. I know. Right? You said what? Didn't you teach? Yeah, I taught. That's what I'm saying. I know it's it's certain teachers who once do, these kids got into my class, I was like, what the, what would they teach? What did they What did they teach you? in, in okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to start from the basics and we're going to work our way up. And that's how it had to be because after summer break, once you once you at home with your with your kid with your parents for summer, the the parents aren't teaching you nothing during the summer. You're not learning anything. These summer packets, you're not doing them shits. You might do them the day before. When... <laughs> If you was like, if you was like my family, you might have do it for the day before, for real. But other than that, yeah. No, I had a summer packet when I was a teacher. Other oh, job applications, one year and done. <laughs> <laughs> the kids was walking out, and I was walking out right behind them. <laughs> nah, for real. The most they doing is. Yeah. Listen, yeah, the yeah, most yeah. they doing is you you did your homework? <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh, okay. So they're not checking that. Like, it sounds like a pitch like you want to be a million dollar teacher, right? Because if you're a teacher, you're saying teachers you can pay millions. Uh what made you a good teacher? Are you a millionaire? I I'm on the way one day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm hopeful. But nah, listen. What makes a good teacher? Listen, I'm gonna answer that first part though. (laughs) What makes a good teacher is is the want to learn, to the the realization that you don't know everything, the understanding that you can also learn from your students. You know what I'm saying? Like that you can Google stuff if you don't know. It's somebody else who does. You know what I'm saying? And and it's theory and all that scientific method is real. Like you can test other people's hypothesis you can test other people's theories you can test whatever somebody else says to be true and if you come up to the same thing then that's how you know you know what i'm saying so it's like so you want a million dollars for that that you just pitched (laughs) nah nah not even a million let me get a duck hey look let me put my cash out but you're not making it you're not making it you're not uh you're not making a good case bro google something that's that's not worth a million dollars bro <laughs> yeah you might want to start for 9.95 google is definitely worth a million i'm sure i'm not paying somebody a million dollars to google something this is what we get for our money bro she actually you are more than likely listen it, it more than likely you are paying some service that you could do yourself, but it's more convenient to pay somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's people who live off the grid. Like, you, it's more convenient to just pay, you know what I'm saying, pay your bills. <laughs> yeah, but, um, the narrative that you want, you want to go hunting for your food? And do you want to really, like, you know what I'm saying, set up a, I don't know. No, the narrative teachers ain't making no money. There's 30,000. 30, that's not true. Even the cheap states is about like 50 starting. Texas is like 61. Between 59 and like 63. Teachers ain't starving to death. Most of them are fat. <laughs> Eating good. School lunches. All right. Anybody got any dust? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got lost in a train of thought of just all that goodness I just heard. Washed.
Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. <laughs> you know, like something happened. We didn't do this because we like you. We did this because we are you. Boom, the world class.